Hello YouTube, Lee here, back again with another mail time video. Today I have one card to share with you guys. It is for my Chris Bryant rookie card set registry. Um, not just only going to show the card, I also want to talk about the progress I've made on the set and a few other things as well. So first, we'll just get into it with the card I picked up this week. It is a 2015 Topps Heritage. It's from the 51 collection set. It is a Gem Mint 10. That is a cool looking card there. Obviously, these are made to look like the Topps 51 set. And it has a red back. I don't know if this set had any blue back variations. Um, maybe someone who knows a little more than me can leave a comment down below if they know that. So yeah, very happy to add this to the collection. It is actually my eighth card for the set registry. So that actually means I am halfway to my goal, which like I said earlier, we'll discuss in a bit. But first, I uh, sort of wanted to talk a little bit about perfect fit sleeves. You hear everybody mention that they like to use the perfect fit sleeves. And they sort of show this where there's just a huge gap. I mean, this is just not good for storage. Absolutely terrible. So anyways, in front, beside me, I have some perfect fit sleeves. They make them specifically for PSA, PSA graded sports and gaming card holders, which this is one of those. So I'm just gonna show you guys how amazing these things are. So we'll just uh, cut to that in a second. All right, so I've cleaned off the card and I have a perfect fit sleeve ready to go. So we'll just slide this in with the seal on the back. And as you can see, there's no extra space at all, which is great in my book. And then you see the seal there, and it has the, the corners on the side there so the flaps don't fly out. Kind of like here you see the flaps. That just gets annoying. They come undone. The car doesn't seal anymore, and then this thing becomes trash. Anyways, so... Just then tighten this up and you're good to go. Perfect fit. Okay, so these are all the cards I have of Chris Bryant for the PSA set registry. They're all PSA 10s. We'll start off here with the Bowman Chrome. Then we have the Bowman's Best. The top space close up variation, and then we have tops Allen and Ginter and tops Chrome. Then in the second row, here we have the car that I just picked up tops Heritage 51 collection. The tops update this is card number US 78, that's the home run derby. Then we have the All-Star Game, US 242. And last but not least, this card actually isn't part of the set registry for some reason. Not sure why, maybe someone can shed light on that in the comments below. But I like the card nonetheless, so I picked it up. So that is US 283. All right, so here are the stats on my collection. So there are a total of 24 cards in the set registry. Eight of them are autographs. Uh, they're all high end, so I'm pretty much gonna ignore those in my collection for now. Like for example, they are Topps Dynasty cards, Patch Autos, number to five. Unless I have a windfall or come into windfall, I will not be picking up any of those anytime soon. So as you can see, I have eight 
plus the additional card there. And I need eight more. So the cards I need are 2015 Finest. That is a short print. 2015 Panini Elite. Stadium Club. 2015 Topps Archives. That is also a short print. Then we have 2015 Topps Heritage. The batting variation, that's the base one. He also has a swinging variation, but that's not part of the set. 2015 Topps High Tech, the white waves design. Then we have 2015 Topps Mini Close Up. I don't know how that card got into the set registry. It wasn't a packed pulled card. I think it was part of the factory set and you got five additional rookie cards that are minis. But I might pass that one up because the pop for the Gem Mint 10s I think is three and then nine. I think there are about eight or nine of those. So that could get very expensive. And last we have 2015 Tops Triple Threads. And I might add another card. It'd be the Tops Chrome Update. Despite not being in the registry, I would pick it up. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe if you have not done so already. And stay tuned for more videos.